Hey what's up YouTube, I'm back again with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this, the uh, Mountain Rucksack from World War II. Um, they had a couple different models of these, I want to say about four. Um, ones where this is completely khaki and then instead of leather straps they had uh, khaki straps. Um, these leather ones are really nice. I think they're a little bit harder to find than the ones with the khaki straps. The only bad thing about them is that when they get dry rotted, the leather likes to rip on these things, but uh, so far mine hasn't. It's in pretty great shape. And it's got the three external pockets. The smaller one here, the bigger one in the middle, and then the smaller one on the side here. And then it's got the standard US stamp. And moving on this side, it's got spots to put the M1910 gear. Right here as an example I got the canteen set um, except I'm pretty sure right here would be uh, a bayonet or something because you got your um, or an e-tool because you got your, your strap here to hold something down right there. And then you also have another one here and another one sort of on the side here. And then there's just nothing on this side. Mine is repaired on both sides and then flipping it around you can see it's got a frame and then it's got this weird hook I'm honestly not too sure what that what that's uh, there for and then it's got this two shoulder straps and it has this kidney pad it did have a waist strap um, when I originally got it it didn't but these were made with ones um, and then mine's just always had it missing so yeah you can remove the frame and just use it as a bag it is still pretty nice but uh... yeah i don't know i mean me personally despite these bags i don't know i mean i've had this bag for a while now since probably gosh twenty twelve maybe i've pretty much been trying to sell it ever since i just I pretty much just got it because this was $12 uh, at an antique store and um, I couldn't afford a, a lightweight ruck so I got this as a stand-in because uh, guys in Vietnam did use these um, in the early war uh, about 65-ish, 66 so um, for those of you that don't know you can use this for early Vietnam and then opening up on the inside you can see has this flap and has the manufacturer stamp date 1943 it has a, a pocket uh, up in the flap with the zipper there the original lace to uh, tie it not just a white shoelace even though it's pretty much what it is and then to fill it I just have two pillows just go ahead and lay those over there and you guys can see so somewhat how big this rucksack tr truly is. I mean, you can fit just tons of stuff in this thing. Um, so yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this review. Um, oh, and then after this model, they did have the M1952 mountain rucksack um, that they designed for special forces in Vietnam. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, in my opinion, honestly guys, I kind of don't like these rucksacks, but you can fit a ton of gear in there, um, and that's really good too. So if you guys ever have a chance to uh, pick one up for cheap, um, i definitely recommend it, I guess, just because of how spacious it is. Um, but yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one.